and welcome to my channel MacMart. Hoping, uh, I hope you are enjoying uh, my channel tutorials. Please uh, subscribe, like, and share my channel for more upcoming tutorials. Our today topic is stress components in a bar due to non-uniform loading. In previous uh, workshop, we perform simulations uh, on a bar and we evaluated the stress components in a bar due to uniform loading. And we find that the stress components, uh, all stress components was zero except the stress component uh, along the applied directions of load. For non-uniform loading, we will see that it will not happen like that the stress components uh, uh, accept uh, normal also there will be a shear stress components will exist what are the goals of this workshop in this workshop we will learn how to plot normal stress along horizontal edge and how to plot a normal stress along vertical edge and how to plot a shear stress vertically how to use probes these are basic lessons are how to use the section clipping method uh, that are the very good feature of some feature of hardware so, and how to animate the stress. So, so this is our problem destination in this uh, in the last uh, section the stress field is uniform over the body and then the only non stress was the sigma x. So, in this section, we will use the same model in the last section, but add a uniformly distributed transversal low pressure of 1 megapascal on the upper face of the beam. In this case, the resulting stresses will not be uniform and non-zero shear stresses components exist in the beam. This section also demonstrated a way to retrieve results at specific locations in a body, named the, namely the section clipping method. So, these are the bounding conditions that we are going to use in SOLIDWORKS. Uh, similarly, uh, like the last problem, the left end of the beam is fixed. The dimensions are same as like before. And the force of 10,000 Newton applied in the X direction from the right end. And beside this, a uh, pressure of 1 megapascal is applied on this upper face of the beam. So let's start our problem. Okay, and we have entered in SOLIDWORKS. Uh, so first we will model. Uh, click the right plane sketch. Please note again that dimensions are in millimeters. Okay, draw a rectangle. Dimension this rectangle. This is the ten. and height is 20 ok then exit this, uh, exit this sketch and extrude the beam up to 100 millimeter depth ok so again we have model our uh, beam now our next phase is to enter in the SOLIDWORKS simulation environment so click on the SOLIDWORKS add-ins click on the SOLIDWORKS simulations and wait sorry I am taking tea at this time so click on the simulations and drop down from drop down click the new study and so give the name bending and elongation in the previous problem there was only bending and select the static that is already selected ok so you can see the uh, name here bending and elongations so right click on the part and apply materials again our material material is elastic apply close so on the fixture right click on the fixture and select the fixed geometry and select the left face ok keep all these uh, options default and uh, external loads right click on the external loads and 
select the force again same for the value of 10,000 Newton in reverse direction ok. So, the next thing is to apply the pressure on this upper force right click the external load then select the pressure select the upper surface of this and change units to mega Pascal and select the value to 1 ok. So, in this way we have uh, applied the bounding conditions uh, as uh, given in our problems here. So, just now go to run this study, wait until solution complete. Okay, we have got this solution completed. Again, right click on stress at a definition and select the normal stress in x directions and change units to mega Pascal. Okay. So, you can see uh, the stresses in the this along this whole length is not uniform. These are changing. You can use the probe, probe and click here. Here, that stress is just a uh, this mega Pascal, here is a different 52 mega Pascal, here this 58 mega Pascal. So, uh, the stress uh, in this direction in the whole along whole the length is change. Uh, now, our next uh, so uh, next uh, our aim was to how to animate these stresses just to go to stress right click on stress and animate ok. You can see the animations here ok. You can slow down your animation you can see how the stress contours are changing with respect to time ok. Now, our the next advanced section is the section clipping methods. If we want to see the uh, circuit in between the beams, so how we will do it? Let us see that. So, uh, select uh, from the plot tool, select this section clipping. From here, select uh, the front line from here and 5, sorry, in reverse direction. Now, ok, uh, section 2 for section 2, select the top line. Select it uh, ten. Sorry, twenty and for the section three, select the right plane. Click here and click the right plane and just uh, click here ten in reverse direction. So, go down and uh, turn off the section planes. So, here are the points, uh, this is the point, uh, this point is uh, point A, this is the point B. So, now our next aim is to plot the stresses along this directions, upper edge uh, and next to plot the normal stress along the lower edge and next phase is to plot the stress along this vertical directions. Oh, let us see how we will do that. Uh, these uh, bounding conditions are disturbing us, we can hide this bounding condition, just uh, click on the external load and hide all. Similarly, click on the friction and hide all. So, now uh, you are free to select this. So, use the probe. Now select the, so 
you can see select this point select this point select this point so we can uh, we are going to evaluate the stress distribution normal stress distribu distribution along the upper edge okay so we have calculated the stress you can see the stress component here you can drag it we uh, have evaluated the stress at different points so if you want to uh, plot these uh, stress uh, along this edges oh, so uh, we will plot this just to we have selected these uh, seven points just click this plot oh you can see here what i'm says uh, you can see the set stress distribution on upper edge this is changing linearly about stress at maximum near this spot and is decreasing and in the previous example in the uniform loading that was not happening all the stress all about all the equation was same similarly uh, we just clear this selections so we have cleared uh, cross this similarly uh, you can see the stress along the lower edges this and plot that and you can see the shear stress um, we will, we, will uh, we are interested in the shear stress in this positions at definitions we want to stress and x y mega pascal okay so you can see the uh, shear stress uh, is minimum here and changing uh, as a maximum here and maximum here just uh, this, this is coming up parabola so we will draw it uh, uh, the shear stress along this edge vertically so again go to the probe just select uh, these points okay 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 so we have plotted the shear stress along the vertical edge just go and plot oh it, this is awesome you can see that the shear stress uh, how shear stress is varying shear stress uh, from this point is the this point point uh, one location and this is the location seven and you can see this is location th third so uh, contours are also telling us that shear stress is have a parabolic functions shear stress this is shear stress on uh, x y shear stress so uh, you can uh, also conclude the uh, shear stress y z and z x after that after uh, doing all that you will see uh, the results like that or you can see here the shear stress uh, uh, the normal stress at point a is, is this and normal stress on this is b is this you, do you know where the point A and where the point B? Uh, let's go. This is the point A, this is the point B. Go to again normal stress. Okay. Just to use the probe to see the stress at point A and point B. So you can see 107 megapascal is here. and here as that so in this way uh, we have learned how to plot uh, uh, we have learned that in the uniform loading case the stress is not uh, is in the non uniform loading the stress never remains uniform along the directions of the applied load i think uh, you have enjoyed this tutorial i have learned how to use the section plane clipping methods to plot the stretches at different locations and again uh, your results must be like this table you can evaluate all these stretches okay i request against to subscribe like and share my channel take care goodbye